Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to review replacing the Type C USB daughter board on a Latitude 7430. Oftentimes what you see on these laptops is the C ports, uh, the solder joints get weak, they wear out as people plug plug in their chargers or their docking stations or whatever peripherals they're plugging in. Over time those uh, ports get pretty weak causing them to have to either replace the entire motherboard or in this case it's just a daughter board that's connected so um, go ahead and review this uh, that you can see on the top right corner there daughter board is underneath the fan heatsink assembly so we will have to uh, remove the fan and heatsink in order to get to that start off by disconnecting your battery and you're going to remove the four screws for your heat sink. Remove the two screws from the fan. You're going to disconnect the fan from the motherboard and pry up that heat sink. Some adhesive tape there holding the EDP video cable in place. Just peel that up and there you can see we've exposed two mount screws that mount the daughter board to the motherboard. You can remove both of those and then two screws that mount the daughter board to the palm rest chassis. You know lightly pry up the motherboard and then you can remove the daughter board from underneath the motherboard. Go ahead and reinsert the new one. Put your screws back in place. Make these screws snug, but do not over tighten them. Now we got to clean off the old thermal grease. Uh, in a lot of instances, you're going to see this thermal grease is caked on there. So I, uh, I sped up the video here to show just how much I had to work at it. Sometimes you can use the chem pad or the chemical um, alcoholic wipe with a screwdriver to try and chisel that stuff off. In this case, I really had to work at it to get this stuff off. It was really tough. And you're going to use the same alcoholic wipe to clean off your processor. Once that's done, you're going to apply your new thermal grease. Do not put too much on. You just need a little bit as a little bit goes a long way. Reinstall your heatsink fan assembly. Reapply the screws to your heat sink and the number that they're ordered in. You can see a one, a two, and a three, and a four labeled in crisscross fashion. That'll assure that the thermal grease uh, spreads evenly across your processor. Don't forget to reconnect your fan to the motherboard. Apply the cable management from your speaker cable. Reconnect your battery and you're good to go. Thanks for watching everyone. Like and subscribe.
We'll be adding more videos soon. Thank you so much.